It's not looking very good for this one fruit. <laughs> Goodbye. And then we're very close to the aerial ace. And we can take out the Venusaur. Hello, hello. It is the very end of the season and we got all three leagues available. I very much enjoy playing in both the Great League and the Ultra League, but this time around I have prepared a Great League team around Superior. I mean, I've actually prepared two teams, but the second team is not around Superior and I haven't gone around to practice with it yet. So maybe a future video, we'll see. But this time around I build it around Superior because I have a rank one that, believe it or not, I never really prepared or played with, even though it's been increasingly more popular and powerful these last like couple seasons. Uh, but now I finally decided to make it and finally decided to build a team around it to like cover some of its weaknesses, because as a pure grass type, you have a weakness to poison, flying, and fire. Uh, and like the fire type is not very common, but if it, there is a fire type on the opponent's team, if they lead with it, we beat it with, with cash. And if we save swap Skarmory and they do have a fire type, they will probably put it on Skarmory. That can do like a decent match five back a little bit. You can finish it with Wish Cash and hopefully never see a fire type on the superior. Other than that, we got like Poison and Flying type. Poison, Wish Cash, absolutely amazing against. Flying type, Skarmory is of course absolutely amazing against. So hopefully we can like get some of those weaknesses on the two first Pokemon, which can deal with them much better than Superior. And then just in a neutral match, Superior is very tanky. It's got some decent moves and some really hard hitting friendship plants. So yeah, uh, let's see how this will go. Wish Cash into a Venusaur. What a absolutely terrible start. <laughs> we get here and we get an electric type out on the Skarmory. So very much hard countered straight away here. Uh, but we will see how it goes, because with the Lantern out, the Wish Cast can do a little bit of damage afterwards. Although we can get some Surfs in our face that might not be as nice on the Wish Cast. But Wish Cast is kind of a uh, like dead Pokemon already, <laughs> now that he's got Venusaur for it. Uh, but we will see how he plays it. I actually kind of expect him to put Surf here and farm me down. But we will uh, nope, see how he plays it out. He does not. He does go straight for the Thunderbolt. But he has a lot of energy now, which means I'm going to take a Surf. Uh, but hopefully not more than that before he starts spending some shields. But that means Superior has a, uh, a lot <laughs> of weight to pull on this match. So it looks kind of grim already. But let's see if we can do some fights. Having some extra shields. Because I kind of expect this guy to use a little bit of shield on Lantern. Because he can damage me back. Uh, but we will see. I mean, he might also just save them for Venusaur. Which is actually one of the grass types that Superior is not doing too hot against. I could have potentially swapped, but that would also show them my last Pokemon already. Which I really don't want to. So we can farm him down, and then we can like do a Mutt Bomb against the Venusaur. Since he doesn't have a move ready, we might even be able to get both the Mutt Bombs off here. And we kind of need to, because we need to only use one Aerial Ace against the Venusaur to take it out. Or he might shield, we'll see. I'm not really expecting him to, exactly. Um, and if he lets this one go too, maybe we can even farm him down with the Superior. Which might be completely okay. Oh, he does shield. I mean, that's kind of smart, because that means he farms me down. Now he has a buttload of energy for my Superior, and he does run with Sludge Wave on a Venusaur. So I will need to respect these attacks. But first of all, he should have thrown a move here to force me to spend his shield first, because now he's kind of forced to do the same. Uh, so we'll see what his last Pokemon will be when we get that far, because now we do have a little bit of an advantage. Although we might have to spend both shields here, because I believe he can get the Sludge Wave twice. Oh, he even baits me, the audacity. <laughs> but that, that kind of means he really cleanly gets to the second one, which is going to be the Sludge Wave. Okay, so now we get in a scenario where we have the very last Pokemon that we don't really know what it is. Oh, he's running Swampert. See, here we go. I can now do Frenzy Plant, get very, very close to the Aerial Ace, and I think we actually kind of got this in the bag now. It's not looking very good for the Swampert. <laughs> Goodbye. And then we're very close for the Aerial Ace, and we can take out the Venusaur. Okay, this looked really grim, but yes, the very last Pokemon was a Pokemon Superior could take out. Goodbye, Venusaur. So a really nice sweep towards the end. Lantern start. That is pretty decent. Uh, oh, and that's also okay, actually. I will I will take this. I will just do a skull to get the advantage, and then I will consider switching into my Skarmory to get it away from the Lantern. 
So I'm going to desync my uh, my timer a little bit to get like a huge advantage. But I really want Skarmory away because Skarmory just have nowhere to go now with the Lantern being in this game. So I will use a Scald. Okay, you can let it go through. Very nice. That means I can kind of just farm it down. He will come in with Lantern and soak all my energy. But that means the, the misaligned timers matters less because I will buy a lot of time me soaking all these moves into the lantern. Uh, but it also means for him that he gets the lantern on the scammer, which is like, okay. But I also get my wish cash back on the lantern and the timers will be back aligned. Or well, my switch timer will be back up when this battle is over. Because I hopefully will make it to another sky attack. He might just straight away throw the thunder punch, on the thunder punch, the thunder bolt. We will see. If I was in his shoes, I would do a surf here. And then farm me down. Exactly. Because <laughs> I have nowhere else to go. I can only really do one attack. Actually, I should have done a Brave Bird here. Uh, but it's not the biggest of deals because this is still not very effective. And I will come in with the Wish Cash. Potentially get to farm it a little bit. So yeah, so now he's farming me down. But that means the timers are now back aligned. I can switch. And I can also just put the Lantern. Oh, and there we go. We got an Annihilate here. Ghost Fighting type. Really powerful Pokemon. Although this cover move from Superior, Aerial Ace will come in very handy here. That's nice. Boop. We'll see what he ends up doing on his Annihilate. Is he gonna nuke me or is he gonna bait me? I kinda want a shield. Yeah, I mean, I should have. This was a bait. I shouldn't have, but it's okay. He needs the shield. I mean, I kinda do too when I get that far into the battle. I have a little bit of energy on my, um, on my Wish Cash. So I might be able to like not shield once, but wow, this is doing a lot of damage. Yeah, he can just night slash me down now, right? Will he outpace me? I think he outpaces me actually. I will just let this go. Hopefully still make it to an air lace. Exactly. He was gun he was going to outpace me. Are we playing without shields? I think we're gonna play without shields. I want this. Because I can switch in just a moment. Yep, and he he calls it. There we go. He has a move, but I believe it's not enough to take me out. And that means I can farm up a little bit extra now. Because he will do barely any damage with the uh, Thunder Sparks. Here we go. I will just barely like, survive this one counter that will come off the Annihilate. And then I will make it to a Mud Bump. And then I'm going to lose CMP, potentially. <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Uh, so how tanky is Annihilate <laughs> is the bigger question here, actually. <laughs> Ooh, hopefully not tanky enough. Oh, it is tanky enough. See, that's a scary one. Ooh. But I believe it did not have the attack ready. <laughs> Ooh. That's a close undercharge. But that it was uh, that was a very exciting match. Wow. Ooh. Jelly scent lead. I mean, they're both pretty tanky. This is a pretty neutral match. We would prefer to have superior on jelly scent, kind of obviously. But I don't believe it's worth risking the safe swap to do it. Shadow Ball is a very powerful move from the Jelly Scent. But I could just shield the first one. Because usually with like a tank versus tank matchup like this. People go for the hard hitting move first. <laughs> so let's shield straight away. Exactly. Because usually we have like a close match towards the end. And then people start using shields. And sometimes on like the bait move. Because you're pretty low HP. So shielding the first one. Is, uh, is having some good advantage when you're fighting against Pokemon that has a uh, like choice between a heavy hitting and a uh, not so heavy hitting attack. Although I have given away my shield advantage straight away, but he kind of needs to fight a little bit back so he will start shielding. No? Okay. I mean, that's also a way of doing it. So he does have a grass type. This is okay. So I sacrifice the shield to get the switch. And in this case, it will matter a lot. Because Venusaur is pretty good against Superior, but it has almost nowhere to go against a Skarmory. Can I even get another one? Oh, I can get another one. And I think he realized. So he at least used an attack. And he, he wins CMP because he has the higher attack. Otherwise, the, that Venusaur would almost be gone. So here's a situation where I'm hoping he does not have a really good answer for Superior in the back. I'm hoping Venusaur was his answer. Uh, because I can now sh like basically farm it down. Oh, this is an Umbreon. You know, actually, I will take a shield from him before I switch out. Because I have my switch timer up. 
So I will do this. We'll see if he shields or not. He does not. And then I will switch here. Maybe should have taken an attack from the Umbran before. But also don't want to miss misalign the timer too much because I don't want to give him an I, mean, I don't want to give him an option of having his Venusaur on my superior. But he's also very low on both Umbreon and Venusaur now. <laughs> so he's two shields. He should have used those. <laughs> what much more earlier than he has at this point. Uh, so I will just start using some of the cheap moves here. To like waste away some of his shields. He might just save it for Venusaur. But Venusaur is also very low, so you need to start shielding something, at least. We'll see how he plays this. We win CMP, because Umbreon is just a tank, <laughs> very much. I don't really believe he's going to use the second shield here, though. But he will waste a lot of energy if he does, and yeah. So he does shield, okay. But that means I can now let my superior go. And I can come in with Skarmory, farm down Umbreon, maybe take an attack. Which kind of evens out what I like was afraid of a little bit, not not taking the attack before. Yes, yeah, so I, I end up taking an attack now here anyways. What's mad, what hit what hits for the hardest? Neutral foul play from a tank or a uh, resisted frenzy plant from a Venusaur? I'm not sure, uh, but I will just use a shield on something here. It'll be fine. I think even the frenzy plant being re like double resisted is going to do more than, than the, the neutral attack. And yeah, I kind of want to throw a move because he's going to get to another one, isn't he? So I'm going to throw this. And then I will be able to survive a foul play. And then I will reach a sky attack. If I don't just farm him down. Yeah, there we go. Into a Medicham. I mean, that's okay. I believe Medicham just out me <laughs> and like out damages me here. But me coming back in with either Skarmory or the Superior. Farming down the last energy is okay. Although, when I see a Medicham, I almost expect Bastion and uh, Victory Bell in the back. So if that's the case, getting Switch could be pretty important. Because Superior is good against Bastion, and Skarmory is good against Victory Bell. So do I want Switch? Do I want to fight for Switch a little bit? I mean, I already let the Psychic go through. As I said in like the previous battle, if I wanted to get Switch, I should have taken out the expensive move first. Actually, I'm going to fight a little bit. This was a mistake. Exactly. This is where I'm like kind of showing the humbleness, I guess, of this situation. Is that I should have shielded the first one, which was the heavy hitting attack. So I don't end up using a shield on a worse move, which is what I did here. Also, I should have done a Sculpt. Because that would have given me a switch. So now I'm going to get punished, right? You have the Bastion in the back. I don't mind getting completely humbled. Okay, so it wasn't the Bastion in the back. But he's, he still has a Sumeral, which I would have much pre preferred to have on the Superior. Right, so I will let him do the first move here. Which is likely a Hydro Pump or Ice Beam. I'm expecting an Ice Beam. There we go. Then I will do my Brave Bird. And switch out, I believe. We'll see what his last Pokemon is. It's going to end up being aligned to the superior anyways. Because you really do not want to have an Astral on it. Oh, he lets it go through. I mean, it kind of changes my strategy a little bit. That means I can farm him down now, right? So I shield the Ice Beam. I don't. But he is having a Goliagar that does not like a Frenzy Plant. It's neutral. That's flying ground. So he will start shielding, I believe. So I will Aerial Ace here. He did not shield. Very well called for my opponent. So this is like kind of a little bit of a like coagulation of me just making mistakes in a row. <laughs> I don't I don't mind that being the case. It's okay. I mean he's gonna shield now, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the frenzy plant damage. <laughs> Even though Superior is a pretty tanky Pokemon, because frenzy plant is a really really good move, it can do some decent damage. Yeah, but he was gonna start shielding. I kind of called that, I guess. Can I fight this? Now he's gonna farm me down now and have like multiple moves for the Skarmory and I only have one shield. He's also gonna shield this, he's gonna keep farming me down. And then I am a little bit screwed. Yeah, so he has moves now. And I believe he have multiple moves. So I I'm I'm done. <laughs> Basically. I can't fight back with this. He even baits me with the aerial ace. I mean actually I, that's better, because he runs aerial ace. And, um, and dig, right? 
So he has no good moves against me, actually. Can I farm him down instead? Am I am I trying to call myself out in advance? Oh, do I survive this? I hope I just barely survive it. I think I might have a shot, actually. Oh, I lost because I did the attack. I had it, actually. I had that on. Wow, I had it. No, I failed the undercharge. Ah, oh, bummer. I mean, that happens to the best of us, I guess. And that, that was the one match. I had that one. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, well. I will humble myself on screen. I made mistakes. I definitely made mistakes. Wow. Wish cast into a shadow grand bull. And he switched out. Okay. Oh, victory bell. Ooh, okay, he's really playing rock, paper, scissors here. <laughs> he's playing with a shadow charmer and a shadow... Uh, what's it called? Racer lever? Ooh. I'm almost tempted. Actually, I should have done that, shouldn't I? I should have just farmed it down instead of throwing a move. Does he have a Bastion in the back? That would kind of make sense with the Victory Bell, no? He's playing Gramble, Victory Bell? Yeah, because I can let basically anything go through. He will very likely um, Acid Spray me and like keep using Razor Leaf. But it's not really doing any damage at all. So he has the Bastion in the back. If, if he had the Bastion, he would have not protected his Victory Bell. He would have let Victory Bell go and come in with the Bastion. Yeah, so he does not have Bastion. He has Dragonair that also does a lot of damage. <laughs> Shadow, quick attack team. Okay, he's just he's playing to get all these matches done <laughs> really, really quickly. And does not care about my opponent's the opponent's shields. Why are you not shielding this though? You're protecting your Gramble? Is Skarmory gonna take out <laughs> almost the entire team? I mean it kind of is, right? He's gonna he's he's protecting his dragon. Why are you protecting your Dragonair? I mean you really want the steel type out of the picture. So that the Grand Bull can run free, I guess. But I can just save the shields for my superior and just do a Frenzy Plant and that'll be it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting this out of the picture and then I'm switching straight away to the superior here. Because my... What's it called? My Wish Cash will not make it to much more than one move. Exactly. That last battle was kind of boring though but I mean I'm showing you guys live battles as I am playing them and that will happen. And then I, you guys can laugh at me for making some big mistakes before that. And we got some very exciting and close battles in the start of this video. So I thought we got a really decent showcase of this like sort of safe, really powerful team in the meta that we have right now. I was lacking some of the like big one shot moments. I didn't really get many of those, but we did get a couple moments with some really, really good damage that was still pretty nice. So if you guys appreciated some Great League battles, give this video a like. That would be very, very nice. Other than that, I would also recommend another Great League video up here. And as I showed in the start of the video, there is another team here you might be able to play around with a little bit and uh, i will start practicing a little bit with this team to like make another video maybe before this season is over or maybe just for the start of the next season we'll see how the timing will allow me to make more video check out the videos on screen and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye